This is the passenger side inner fender. Uh, this section here is what made it to the core support that I just rebuilt. And um, as you can see, the battery had a negative effect on this thing. So this is going to have to get rebuilt as well. Um, I checked the parts car we had, and it's even worse than this one, surprisingly. So that's the next step. Cutting this part, we're going to see if we can get a brand new battery box and uh, get this rebuilt and get it ready to go. Well, what I've done here is I ground out the spot welds that held this front piece on. And the good news is that the main part of the fender back here is good and solid. Uh, still has some pitting, but I'll treat that so it doesn't rust again. And um, I'll have to, you know, I can make this this piece, which will take some some engineering to get all the angles right. But uh, this corner piece is going to be a little trickier. And the reason that is is here's the passenger side. If you notice, this angle here kicks back. It's not a 90. You know, you see the top there and it's a 90 and you come back and there's a slight uh, return. So I'll have to figure out how to make that. And this piece, um, is it only runs over to here. So I'll be able to repair or make it, this piece over here. I don't want to cut the whole thing out because it's obviously pretty complex. So I want to work on making this corner and getting that correct. And then I'll make the top piece. And this gives me a pretty good template. And you can even see here, this car was wrecked on the driver's side in, uh, before and had been repaired, but they didn't bother to fix this. This should be square and flat. It shouldn't have a big hump in it. So I'll have to repair that as well. But at least that's not rusted. So that's a good thing. Um, but as it is, I got this other piece out and I'm going to start working on remaking that. Fun. So this is what I'm going to use for metal. Um, this is a kind of a bigger piece and I don't have much uh, around, but this is actually the skin off of a car roof. Uh, we did a roof job on a car and, and um, you know, it's good metal, there's uh, nothing nothing wrong with it. It's uh, It'll be big enough that I can make my piece, but what I wanted to tell you is when you make stuff like this, cut your metal bigger. Make the thing oversized and then trim it back to what you need. If you try to make it right on the money and you end up short on a bend or a leg, you're just starting over. So do your do yourself a favor and you know cut the thing big and then start making your bends. And uh, as you can see with the metal with the bends, you'll save yourself a lot of effort, a lot of time, and you know uh, materials. So just just a little tip for you: start big and work your way down. So here's what you got to do. Make a template. You know, you've got lengths of uh, different lengths here and bends. You need to draw it out. So I got the angles where I need them. I'm going to bend this up. This will also go up. Um, and what I'll do here is this piece will go up, and this piece will go down, and this piece will go up. So it'll make that shape. I just gotta get it in the brake right. But you, know, you draw it out and get a look at it, and get your measurements, and uh, make it happen. There's the basic set of bends. That gives us those three legs. And then I'll cut it on this line right here and bend this to create these legs. The only tricky part is. This, this thing actually has kind of a joggle to it where it drops down right here and that's the same thing on the other inner fender so I may have to get a little creative to make this come back up and uh, create create that joggle shape so get closer well I think I've made some pretty good progress here's the patch piece that I made based on the little bit of material that I had left um, and also from 
kind of a template, reverse template here from the driver's side. One thing I did notice is this joggle here, and I, I duplicated that over here. And what I did is after I, I bent it and got it into shape, I cut it back here on this edge. And then I also made two relief cuts. You can see the backside there. And I hand shaped it to match the other one. And then I welded it together. So now, this will sit here. I've got the holes drilled where I'm gonna re-weld it back to the uh, original piece. But I still have to make this corner and um, that's the next part of the step. So I think it turned out pretty good, looks pretty close. And I'll get started on the other half and uh, fix that. So there's the finished product. Um, again, it wasn't much to work with, but um, I think having this other inner fender helped a lot. I even made this recess the way that it was. Uh, all the holes are where they should be, as far as I can tell. Here's the other one. Now this is some sort of tar or sealer in there. Um, but looking at this one, and you can see there's that joggle. I'm pretty happy with the results. You can see my lines and stuff where I have drawn stuff on it, but and there's that joggle there. Same deal. I did test fit it to the car and it fits very well. So again, I'm real happy with it and uh, once it gets sandblasted, get some primer and paint on it, I think it'll look pretty darn good. Hard to tell that it wasn't uh, made this way.